everybody this is Carla with Cobweb Corner and welcome to Floss Tube number 68. It is March 10th 2022 and it's been a while since my last video as always. I'm not very good about uh, getting them in on a timely basis. Life seems to kind of get away from me all the time uh, but I'm here today and I've got a lot to share with you. Um, Personal updates, not a lot has happened. We've been staying home. Uh, Iowa is getting a lot better in their virus counts. In fact, we're way, way, way down. So I have been getting out a little bit more. Um, it's been, let's see, two years since COVID started. And in that two years, I've had my hair cut professionally once. So I went out um, after the numbers went down, I <laughs> have hair in my eye here, and uh, got a haircut and it was the worst haircut of my life. They went quite a bit shorter than I wanted to, and you can't really see it because um, I pulled it back, but it is incredibly crooked. It's one of those haircuts that um, you're just like, oh my gosh. So my regular hair girl had uh, retired from cutting hair and went to a different job that had benefits and uh you know paid vacation and stuff like that and i was so sad to lose her and then COVID hit and i haven't found anybody new yet so i just went to a reputable salon uh near me and just put pick the first person available and i i, <laughs> I was like flabbergasted when i got home it's like some of my hair is up to here, some of it's down to here. It's way shorter than I wanted to, but you know, it's really curly and I can hide it well. But it, I know it's bad because I went out to lunch with my girlfriend and I had my hair straightened and I'm like, I got the worst haircut. And she goes, yeah, it's not right. <laughs> I was like, okay, you know your haircut's bad when your girlfriend says, yeah, it's just not right. <laughs> So anyway, um, I'll let it grow and then I'll try somebody new and see what I can do. Um, other than that, we haven't done anything. Um, we've been going out for some walks. I did get my yoga mat out uh, finally this winter. And up until the last week, I did really good with it. Um, yoga is something, if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. Um, it's something that almost every time you practice you see some kind of improvement whether it's in flexibility or strength or you know i can do this move a little bit better and um it's it's a really really good indoor uh, uh type of practice and especially uh, for all ages it's good for strength building and flexibility and stuff so if you've never tried it i highly highly recommend it um and I need to stay motivated with it. It's one of those things that once you stop and go a few weeks without practicing, then you're just right back to, it's kind of like if you're a runner and you don't run for a few months, you kind of got to start all over from the beginning. So I need to keep with it and we'll see, see how that goes. Um, upcoming, my husband's going to be gone for a week in a couple of weeks. He's going to go up uh, north, northern Minnesota and help his mom who is getting ready to move. And so they're doing a lot of sorting and uh, cleaning and he's going to help with that. So he'll be gone for a week. And uh, other than that, we don't really have anything planned. So um, stitchy and crafty news. I did not stitch very many days in the last month but the days that i did stitch i got a couple of long sessions in so i am working on where is it here it is i'm working on o feathers by um, rosewood manor and it uses silky silky threads and it comes in a pack of six colors and the pack is only eleven dollars so if you've been wanting to try um, sulky threads this is a fabulous um, chart to give it a try on and um, I, I think $11 for all the threads you need for a pattern is pretty reasonable so that's the chart and here is where I am and I was so tempted I can't whoops I can't wait to do the peacock body and I've been so tempted to move my Q snaps because I'm so close 
But I thought I'm going to finish out this uh, corner over here and then so anyway, um, give them a move. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I had to pause for a sneeze. Um, I am just, I just can't wait to finish this. I don't have really that much left. I've got um, just this part down here and a couple more of these, I think. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this chart, and maybe some people like this, is stitching the same motifs over and over and over. And each one uses all six colors pretty much somewhere. And sometimes it's only a couple stitches in that motif that have that color. So there is some, I don't know, confetti stitching or whatever, um, but not, not bad. And it goes pretty quick. So I'm really happy with it. So that's my, that's really all the cross stitch that I've done this month. Um, but like I said, I did get some nice long sessions, long enough that I was able to finish uh, listening to book one of Wheel of Time on audiobooks. And that was a 30 hour um, audiobook. So that was quite a bit. But I did get some other crafting done. So I tried, um, hang on, I'm going to get my patterns so I can show you the pattern. Okay, back again. So I wanted to get the pattern so I could show you what I was working from. So I had bought this pattern by um, Pickle Pie Designs. It's done all in the hoop, which means you have a machine that does em um, embroidery and the entire design is stitched in the hoop. And so I thought I would give a hand at making an apron. It comes in, um, I don't know, like four or five different sizes. This is the large. Um, there is an extra large. And um, honestly, I think if I were to make another one, I would look for a pattern that wasn't in the hoop, that was just a straight sewing pattern because really all it is is um, rectangles sewed together. But um, I'm pretty happy with it. It has a large pocket back here and then three, three pockets there and three pockets here. So you have a lot of stuff if you're wearing this while you're crafting, sewing, um, at an art show or whatever. Um, you have a lot of space to put everything you need. And then I added, it had an option to add um, a hook so you could put your, your keys or something like that on there. And then on the pattern, it just called for ribbon to use. And I didn't think ribbon would hold up very well. So I made um, uh, fabric ties. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's uh, just a nice little uh, craft, craft apron. So I did that. And then I made another apron using this pattern, which I love. This is the second second apron I made with this pattern and it was very easy. It's called Working Girl Apron and Hipster Pattern by um, Cabbage Rose. And I got mine at Mended Hearts Quilting and Boutique. Um, oh, I can't remember what town, it's kind of up by Iowa Falls. And I also bought, sorry, my phone is, or my watch is dinging me. I also bought the fabric that I use and I made this one for my daughter. So this is the apron. And there's the fabric. I absolutely love it. It's got the fun scallops and then the back part of the lower part of the apron is lined. So it's kind of nice and thick and I'll just put it on quick so you can see it. So that's my big big body here but that's what it looks like and I am really really happy with it um this is the like I said the second one that I made and it is super super easy um basically you cut out um the rectangles you cut out two different sizes of rectangles it's got three pockets here and a pocket here and I gave one of these away to my um sister-in-law and she said oh finally i have an apron where i can have my cell phone with me all the time so i did that this weekend and i'm going to give that to my daughter uh, when she comes to visit in april and i just love i just love the fabric so pretty and this was i also got this fabric at um mended hearts quilt shop and that's the lining so i did that and i'm gonna make more of those i uh 
I don't know. They 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 uh, sew up pretty quick that I may even make a couple to sell. The other thing I made was I had made this pin cushion for myself um, quite a while ago and I love it. I can't believe how much I use it. So I made another one and this will probably be, um, <coughs> sorry, my throat is really dry. This will probably be in my uh, up for sale in my next cross stitch auction. So I'll have a link down below for my um, auction Facebook group and that will be in the next one. But I love the bright colors. I made these out of um, jelly roll fabrics and actually it was just super, super easy. So, and then I used my sewing machine to sew these little heart stitches on there. So I made that and then um, I made a bunch more um, scissor fobs and my scissor fobs have been selling really really well um, oops I've had a couple of people contact me and just say hey I saw your your scissor fob such and such on uh, floss tube uh, I'm interested in that but I've also been selling them in my cross stitch auctions on face groups so um, some of these will be listed in all of the upcoming auctions that I have so first one is it says let your art blossom and again for those of you who um, don't know I used to make jewelry professionally and I've been taking jewelry apart that I have left over I stopped making jewelry and about five years ago <laughs> and um, still have a lot left so this one I made this pendant um, it has a paper background so it started with a blank bezel I put the uh, scrapbook paper in the back I painted this little flower charm and then I cut out these words that say let your art blossom and then I sealed it in uh, jewelry grade ice resin that's super smooth and super hard and then I painted this uh, flower sorry can't get that to focus very well painted that flower to match and then I just put in some glass crackle beads and some bright yellow Swarovski crystals. So that's one of them. And I don't know if I showed this last time or not, um, but this one is a fortune telling palm. And I made this by taking a brass blank and painting it with alcohol inks. And then I took a scrapbook stamp and stamped the palm image on there. And then I coated that in resin. And then it's got this little kind of steampunk clock. And then it's got glass green beads to match. So that's that one. And then this one is a large peacock pendant with a beautiful, beautiful faceted um, vintage glass cabochon um, pendant or, or I guess just a glass cab and it's um, vintage from Germany and this used to be on a necklace and I took that off and then these are green aventurine which is a gemstone and um, kind of larger Swarovski crystal bicones in emerald green so that is that one that one's a little bit pricier because of the um, large peacock pendant and the vintage vintage glass cap the next one is also a little pricier um i haven't set prices for them yet but will be a little pricier um, this is a hand blown lampwork bead and it was made by an artist in galena illinois at least it was that's where she lived when i bought this i probably bought this 10 years ago and those beads retail for $15 a piece. They're absolutely stunning. Um, and then for the accent beads, this is genuine marcasite. The dark green is marcasite, which is a stone. And the little tiny spacer beads are also mar marcasite, the green ones. And then they're accented with brass beads and light yellow Swarovski crystals. So that is that one made quite a few this this month 
Then I have made the same way. Um, it says, welcome each new day. And I painted a sun and that's embedded in really hard, smooth ice resin. And then it's got some kind of turquoise colored glass beads with yellow glass beads. And then this one, also done the same way, it's just a um, paper piano image and it's in, um, sealed in ice resin. So it's gonna be super, you're not gonna, you would never damage that. And then I, it had, I chose these really cool kind of odd shaped uh, earth tone beads with black uh, faceted glass beads. So that is that one. And then this one was on a boho necklace that I had made. And those are just really super fun, funky uh, beads. And in between are clear Swarovski crystals. That one, and then the last one. These are beads that I had picked up when I lived in France. They're glass, and I got the large square pink with a kind of pink and light, um, light colored separator beads. And then there's a stork scissor and sewing machine charm on the bottom. So that's it for the uh, scissor fobs I made. So I was pretty busy with that. Um, I think that's everything I did crafty wise. Um, haul. So let's talk about haul. I went to um, an indoor, uh, I want to say quilt show. It was a, a shopping event where there were, I think, 16 different quilt shops from around the area in Iowa all came together and they were in an event center. And um, you could go in and, and shop and it was a lot of fun, but it was really crowded, like wall to wall, just shoulder to shoulder people in every booth. And that was my first time out um, really with COVID and I was not real comfortable, um, but we did shop a little bit. Um, I'm not sure I would go again. It was fun, but it wasn't, you know, they, they traveled. So there wasn't a lot of fabric to choose from. It was mostly kits, um, some fat quarters. But there was a table of a, a lady who made fabric bowls. And this one, she uh, made the fabric bowl and on the inside, she embroidered this peacock. And I love it. It's really sturdy. Um, I don't know how they're made, but it was really, really cool and struck my eye, especially, she had a number of them, um, but this was one of the only ones that had the embroidery on it. And I picked that up and I keep using it on my craft table to uh, hold all my kind of odds and ends. The other thing I got the same day, we went to a, diff a quilt shop in Amana, Iowa. And I didn't get any fabric, but I found this book called Needle Travel. And it's from 2022. And I looked back and they've been publishing for a few years. But it's a book that is... Um, it says, updated and confirmed annually, your guide to quilting, knitting, needlepoint, crocheting, weaving, spinning, cross-stitch, and embroidery stores in the United States. And um, I was like, yeah, I got to have that. <laughs> so it was only um, $9.95. I did check on Amazon. They don't sell it on Amazon. Um, but let me find like Iowa. So it doesn't give any really information. And one of the things that I wish they did is they don't have a lot of websites and a lot of quilt stores and needlepoint shops don't have websites, but only a few in here um, have that information. And of course they didn't put Cobweb Corner because I'm not, I don't have a brick and mortar store, but let me show you what I like about it. Um, trying to find Iowa's map. So they show a map of every state and the dots are where there is some kind of a needle craft um, quilt shop or cross stitch shop or yarn shop. So, and then, then they have all of them by town in the book. And so I, came home and I gave it to my husband and said, I bought you a gift. I said, here's our new 
travel planner for our RV for this summer. So you can look and um, you can see all the little dots and you can kind of plan a route of where you want to go in that state or in that area of that state. And then you can look and see and each one says like, um, they have a little code like, um, C for cross stitch, Q for quilting. Um, what are the other ones? M for, they sell machines, Q for quilting, Y for yarn, S for spinning, M for machines, N for needlepoint, W for weaving, C for cross stitch, E for embroidery, and I for Innova. So you can kind of get an idea. And you know, there just aren't a lot of cross stitch stores out there anymore. Um, Someday we're going to have a talk about why I think that is. Um, but uh, supposedly they have confirmed it and updated it for 2022. So I am looking forward to using that this summer. Um, other haul. Let's see. I think this is it. I also got another shipment of fabric from Jody from Steel City Stitchers from her fabric club. And look at these every time every week I show them every uh, I get one a month and they are just they are just so cool and for so the way that her club works is you can choose what count of fabric you want but then she chooses the colors every month and here's my second color it's almost it's almost like a gray blue it's I guess more gray than anything else, but almost has a hint of like a steel blue. And it is so, so, so pretty. And I'm gonna give one of her colors, uh, pieces of fabric away for the giveaway this week. So I got that. I love that. I will put the link down below to Steel City Stitcher's um, YouTube channel. Um, as far as I know, she still has a waiting list for the club, but you can, um, contact her and get on the waiting list or see if there happens to be an opening. Um, other things that are going on, there are two stitch alongs that I am um, helping a sponsor. This one is also through Steel City Stitchers and Kristen from Steel City Stitchers is going to start stitching Good Company by uh, Plum Street Samplers on April 1st, I believe. And if you go to their um, channel, I'll put a link down below to, again to Steel City Stitchers. There is a coupon code that you can use to get a discount on the chart on my website. So that's coming up. And then in process, Helen D, and there's a link down below to Helen D's channel. I only have three of them in stock, but she is doing a stitch along with the four seasonal berries by Erica Michaels. So there's spring, summer, and winter. And she also has, she has a tutorial on how to finish the berries and Erica Michaels has a tutorial. And then I also have um, in stock the pins. So here's two, the two pin sets from just, ah, it's just another button company for the winter berries and the spring berries. And the summer berries and autumn, which I'm out of, but I will be reordering. So, and Helen also has a chart or also has a coupon code that you can use to get a discount on all four of those charts. So, if you're um, wanting to try the berries, that's a great way to do it because you'll be trying along with well over a hundred people um, who are stitching with Helen. And she started, um, I think she's finished the spring berries, but the stitch along will go on all year long. So there's no, no hurry. Um, <coughs> sorry. Okay. Last week, last video's giveaway was for two charts. Both these were donated by, um, a customer who accidentally bought them twice and she returned them to me in the mail and then said, use these as a giveaway. Um, so she didn't want a refund. And so I said, sure, we can do that. And the first one is um, L'Amour al Tampo Degli Nomi. I think it's um, love, gnome, gnome love or something like that. I can't remember what the English translation is. 
but it is by both charts are by core ebatty core and to win this one you had to use the word um valentine and um Mary Avo won this and Mary I have your address so I will get that in the mail to you and then the other one was happy anniversary also by Core eBatty Core and Leslie Duncan won this and Leslie I kind of left you a message on your um, comment uh, there was 34 people wanted both of these so um, Leslie, if you see, if you're watching this, I need your mailing address and my email is down below. Put the word floss tube giveaway in the email address. Um, okay. So what's next? Um, business topic. So my business have a really short cause I have a lot of stuff to show you yet. Um, is I did not go to market. So why did I not go to market? Um, it was actually, I just didn't have the time or money to do it. Market is really expensive. I would have flown down. I went three years ago for the first time and absolutely loved it. And since then I've done two of the virtual markets. And um, it was really, really hard to watch all of the videos and posts on Instagram and FlossTube of everyone who was having so much fun at the market. and seeing the amazing displays that the designers um, put out in their rooms. Um, but it cost me about a thousand dollars just to go and um, get a hotel room, fly down, um, you know, at least a thousand dollars. And I just, I just couldn't justify it this year. And plus I am so far behind. I've been so busy with orders and everything in the last two months that and I'm just behind. I have two or three big boxes of inventory that I've been trying to get through and get listed on my site. It's just sitting on my floor waiting to be listed. And um, I just couldn't justify it. I'm going to save save uh, my money and my time for the virtual market. Not sure whether I'll go to another market um, since I'll probably start thinking about retirement in the next few years. But We'll see with COVID winding down, hopefully, um, and maybe some time will free up. Uh, I'll see, I'll just play it uh, year by year. But I decided to uh, save that money and put it into inventory and other things that will go into the shop. And I just, I just couldn't go and it was so hard. Um, Helen D emailed me and she goes, I'm having major FOMO right now. And for those of you who don't know, FOMO means fear of missing out. And that is exactly how I felt too. It's like, oh my gosh, we are missing out on such a fun time. But um, uh, I'll be getting a lot of the charts that are, are were um, put out during market over the next few weeks. For those of us who didn't attend, we are at the end of the line of being able to have those in our shops, but I've already ordered a few and it'll be a few weeks before they get in. And then I'll just go through all of the new releases and pick what I think will be best for the shop. But if there's anything you'd like to see in the shop, you just let me know. So I don't know, maybe next year, but I, I don't know. It's just, a, it's just a lot and it's exhausting. The, um, uh, but oh my gosh, it's fun. And talk about being, wanting to just like go home and stitch after you go to market. You you see all these beautiful finishes and you just get so um, excited about the craft again. So I missed, I missed that a lot. Um, but it wasn't meant to be this year. Um, new giveaways. So I've got three new giveaways. The first one, last time on my last video, I did an unboxing of my Black Needle Society box and I showed the chart that I said I probably wasn't going to stitch and I decided I am not going to stitch this and it is called Five O'Clock. The theme was happy hour um, for the box last month and I'm giving away the chart and the uh, martini pins so this will be one giveaway and if you are interested in winning this use the words happy hour happy hour and you must be 18 years older or older and um, uh, please be a subscriber to my channel 
and don't use the word giveaway. The other thing that I'm going to uh, give away is one of Jody's pieces of fabric. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's, try to get it, it's a little more orangey. It's showing up awful, awful bright. It's got that yellow in it, but it's also kind of a peachy orange. So that's not a great representation there. That's a little bit better. Um, this is a 32 count Lugana. And if you are interested in winning that, use the word fabric. So use the word fabric in your sentence. And the third item is a chart by It's So Emma called Farm Life. So cute. And if you're interested in this chart, use the word farm. So those are the three giveaways for next week or next uh, video whenever I get around to that. All right, that is it. I'm going to do new inventory. I have a lot to show you. All right, I'm back. I've got a big box, but um, a lot of it are duplicates. And the reason I always have duplicates in my box is because I don't want to file things twice. <laughs> so I don't want to like put one away and then show leave the others out and have to go to the exact same file box and put the others away. So um, this is part of why I didn't go to a market is because I have so much already here that needs to be entered. So let me jump right in and show you what we have. Um, the first one is um, Embroidery Gnome by Les, Put uh, Les Petites Croix de Lucie. And I think she is so cute. And she uses quite a few colors, um, but the chart itself just doesn't look that bad. So I thought she was adorable. I don't buy, I don't have a lot by uh, Les Petites Croix, but I thought that one was cute. Then I got a bunch of new charts from Primrose um, Cottage. If you want a quick stitch, the new series, um, nine patch series by Primrose Cottage, they are so cute. They're only 39 by 39. Um, this one is April, so it's nine patch April. Then I've got May. That's April again, and I've got some more coming up. Um, new by Hands On Design is uh, I Love You, or what is it? A Waffle Lot. It says Love You, A Waffle Lot. And it's a narrow or short kind of waffle shaped um, pillow. And it's got a front and a back and a side. So it's just so cute. Um, Kathy Haberman is just so amazing and her finishes are so amazing. Um, the next one is by Teresa Kogut. It is called, Oh, What a Sight. And it says, um, Santa and reindeer on Christmas Eve night with a sleigh full of gifts. Oh, what a sight. Also by Hands On Design is Black Party 17th for St. Patrick's Day. And it comes with the piece of wool that you need for the top. And by Heart and Hand, Elf and Around. Three little tiny designs. Um, let's see what these are. They're about 33 by 40. They, each one's a little bit different, but about 33 by 40. Elf and Around. And by Primrose Cottage Stitches, Luck of the Irish. And it says, May the Luck of the Irish be with you. All right, hope you guys are ready for lots of new inventory. Um, by Nora Corbett from the Zodiac Girl series. This is Libra, and they may not be on my site yet if you're watching this uh, right when I uh, film it, but I will also have the embellishment pack for this. Um, from the Bewitching Pixie series, this is Witching Hour, and I also have the embellishment pack for that. And this is a super simple stitch. Um, it uses maybe 10, 10, 11 colors of DMC and four different beads. So it does have the beading, but the stitching itself is, I would say, almost, almost beginner level. 
So that would be a quick stitch. And I love the white owl and the black cat and how she's just like laying back there. Um, from Rosewood Manor, Peacocks and um, Posies. I love this. This one is done in, it's done in all one color. Um, this one is Weeks Dye Works Bethlehem, but you could just do that in almost any um, it would be, it would just be so pretty in any variegated color. And look at all of those different peacock motifs. It's, uh, I just, Karen Kluba is so talented. Look at this one's really different. So I don't, I could look at that every, every time you see something different. A Silver Winter Night in the Wood. Um, this is by Twin Peak Primitives. It's an owl under the moon. Um, an older design from Heart and Hand, sound, Song of Solomon, says, I have found the one whom my soul loves. And this is from 2014. Brand new by Tiny Moderate, Modernist, Santa and Friends. And look at those llama llamas and look at the sloth this is like this is so cute i mean see look at that llama or those llamas sorry i was like oh this is so cute so that's santa and friends Put those down from rosewood manor we have pumpkin latte there's a whole series of different drinks there's tea coffee hot cocoa um, I think I have another one coming up and this one that's not let me pull this charm out because it's really cool this one comes with sorry it's in the package backwards this one comes with this pumpkin charm isn't that cool so that is included with the chart and it's got kind of uh, really nice fall colors. These would be this whole series would be really fun to rotate in your kitchen. Um, this one's called "Say It Isn't So" by Homespun Elegance, and it's more snow. Say it isn't so. And we are pretty much at that point in Iowa. <laughs> we were doing really good. We had super warm weather, and. Uh, um, most of our snow was melted, and then one night we got uh, five inches, and it's actually snowing right now. New by Waxy Moon Designs, Winter Littles. Look at those, they're so cute. I love the penguin on the skates and the owl in the uh, scarf. Here's the other one by um, Rosewood Manor in that series. This one's called Kappa. Oops. And it also comes, not all of them come with the charm, but this one comes with a really pretty uh, rose charm that's nice and flat. The pumpkin one is, is a little bit domed and a little heavier and it's really pretty, but this one is uh, perfect for to add on to a small. So that is Kappa. And... Then I really like this one. This one's by Scattered Seed Samplers. It's called Springs Messenger Pin Keep. And it's got the um, robin with her nest. I like that. And then by Madame Chantilly. Um, let's see. Oh, here it is. Winter Delivery. by Erica Michaels, Reindeer Games. It's got all the names of the reindeer um, as a crossword puzzle. And then it also has Santa, um, North Pole. Uh, I think that's about it besides the reindeer names. Late in the game, is the fox from um, A Year in the Woods. I have been <laughs> ordering this forever. And for weeks and it would I would order it it would never be included in my in my shipment so finally got that in and 
I don't always like to stitch what everybody else is stitching, but I might I might have to stitch this one. It is just phenomenal, phenomenal. New by Plum Street Samplers, This Joyous Season. And it says, repeat the sounding joy. Polar Pack, another one that I've been ordering and finally got in. And Mount Vernon Christmas. And look at that snowman on top of that house holding the flag. It's so cute. It's always those little touches, you know, that make a design. Uh, number two in the year in the woods is the swans. And those are all duplicates. All right. From um, Homespun Elegance, delivering peppermints and candy in candy canes. Look at that owl. It is so cute. Now, I didn't real. I should, I kind of did realize it, but I haven't really kept up on it, is um, she does a whole series, I think one a year, called the Delivering Series. And I'm going to try to get as many of those as I can. So that is Delivering Peppermints and Candy Canes. Let's Talk Quilting by Hands On Design. Brown Bird Sampler by Bent Creek. Find Your Way to Halloween by Bent Creek, and that comes with three little star buttons. And Snowbound. And Snowbound is all one word by Bent Creek. Then I got a whole bunch of the full kits. I had quite a few in stock already, but um, I got all of the newer ones by Satsuma Street. So these are full kits. They come with perforated paper, um, DMC floss, beads and sequins, a needle, um, and finishing instructions. So this one is One-Eyed Jack. And we've got Wise Guy. These are all full kits. Let's see here. Do all the kits here. Slither with three S's, four S's. So there's Halloween ornaments and Christmas ornaments. Cat O' Lantern. Turtle Doves. Tree Topper. This one's so cute. We've got Santa with a Christmas tree hat. Candy Claws. Oops. Partridge and Pear. Holiday Horse. And I think, I'm not sure it's the last one, Mitten Kitten. So those are brand new in my shop and they're relatively new, most of them, uh, from set, new releases from Satsuma Street. From uh, Le Petit Croix de Luci is Christmas Father Gnome. And I love this one. This is Winter Whimsies by Scissor Tail Designs. And it only uses four colors. Uh, it uses one color of Classic Color Works and then three colors of DMC. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so it uses, it only uses four colors of floss. It uses um, one color of classic color works and three colors of DMC. Also from that delivering series that I was telling you about from Homespun Elegance, this is delivering plenty. And then we have, this is my favorite, delivering autumn. Delivering Snow. 
and delivering um, posies. I like that one too. So that is some more from that series. Also from Satsuma Street, I have Memento um, Mori, Ma, Memento Mori. So many bright colors. And the Wizard of Oz. And then from um, uh, Luminous Fiber Arts, I have Christmas in the Kitchen Cocoa and Christmas in the Kitchen Candy Canes and Christmas in the Kitchen Gingerbread. And new um, by Core E. Batty Core is Valentine's Day in the Wind. And this is charted in Italian, English, and French. But I love, I just love her details. Like, look at the little smiley faces in the hearts and the little swirls in the clouds and the kitties with their tails going into a heart. So many different, um, just little details. From um, Heart in Hand is the We One Libby. And that comes with a bead packet with some little tiny gold beads and a star, uh, gold star charm. From Abby Rose Designs, I think I'll just be happy today. Sometimes you wish it was that easy, don't you? From Bent Creek, yikes. Told you guys I had a lot. <laughs> um, from Core e Batty Core, say personagia cerca on San Valentino. Six um, people in Valentine costumes. And look at this frog. <laughs> It's so funny. Those would be really fun to do. From Heart in Hand, I now have quite a few of her older semi-kits. Um, this one is Christmas Sampler, and I want to show you the button that's included. This one comes with this amazing um, ceramic button. It's a candle. And it also comes with fabric. So you need to provide the floss. Um, and needle and stuff like that, but you get the chart, the fabric, and the but button. And this one is from, I think one of them's from 2001 and one from 2003. This one is from 2003. It's called Christmas Sampler, and you'll find it on my site under Christmas Sampler Semi Kit. And then this one's from 2001, I believe. And it is reindeer, reindeer Sampler. And then you get five little triangle buttons to put in amongst the alphabet. And then you get the um, linen to go with. Okay, let's talk finger fumble. <laughs> so I saw this chart. Um, I was putting an order in with Yarn Tree. And I was looking at their new, new releases. And I saw... Dreaming Miss Claus, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. I've got to order this, and I meant to order six. So I order, and my um, package arrives, and there were 30 <laughs> in my package. So this is on sale right now. Um, might not be by the time you watch the video, but it is currently on sale. Um, I could have sent them back uh, and <laughs> gone from there, but I'm just like, yeah, what, what was I thinking? But isn't this amazing? It's just like, I don't know if I see Miss Claus in there, but a wonderful winter um, design. Uh, from Nora Corbett, uh, these are designed specifically for Witchelt. This is um, Spellbound from the Bewitching Pixie series. And there is a um, bead packet, embellishment pack for this. And I think Helen D is stitching this, or going to stitch this. 
and Sea Witch. Maybe that's the one Helen's going to stitch. I can't remember. And there's also an embellishment pack for that. Here's the embellishment pack for Spellbound. It's really nice. Um, beads have gone up uh, in price quite a bit. Um, and everything has. Krynik's gone up. Floss is going up. Um, at least uh, uh, Classic Color Works has gone up just a 10, 10, 10 cents a skein. Um, and most, most shops haven't reflected that price change yet. But, um, but it's nice when you can get all of the beads together and not have to go to, you know, you might go to one shop and it has one color and another shop has two colors, but it's really nice when you can get them all together. Hey, Bo, here's Bo coming to see us. New by Amirabilia, the Snow Maiden. Isn't she just beautiful? Of course, all the Mirabilia designs are. What do you want? Come on up. Um, from, I'm almost done. From Heart and Hand, uh, Christmas Cheer 3. And I believe there is some kind of embellishment in there. There is. Thank you, Bo. <laughs> Let's see what the embellishment is, shall we? It is a little tiny star charm. So you get a little tiny star charm with that. Come on, out of the box. And this is one that I had ordered. So when you order from Witchelt, if I order from four different places. And three of the places, if I order and the item's not in stock, then it just gets canceled. And I reorder at some future date. With Witchell, you order and it stays on back order like forever. So I had ordered this a long time ago and suddenly it showed up on my door and it is so freaking cute. It is called Pump Kitten. Pump Kitten. And it is an older design by Springberry Creek Designs. It's just so cute. Then a newer design by Amy Bruken, Hip Hip Hooray. And yeah, let's do that. Come on, down you go. From Tiny Modernist, The Wizard of Oz Tree, and you are getting down. There's only so much I can put up with. Um, getting toward the bottom here. Lucky Love by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And the new 2022 Prairie Santa. It's like, look at those penguins. Now, this one is done all in DMC, but the lights, it's called Arctic Lights, and the lights are done in E980 neon. So it's one of the neon colors, which I don't carry. But that is 2022 Santa for Prairie Schooler. Forever and ever, and okay. I know that this is a long video, but I gotta read this to you guys. I don't usually open up chart packs, but I couldn't find the um, stitch count on this when I was entering it on my website, so I opened it up. And listen to what she writes. Jen, Brenda Gervais always writes um, an explanation about her charts um, or some kind of history behind them. And oh, cat hair. Okay, it says, this sampler was designed to honor and celebrate my parents. They are both 90, born three days apart, and are due to celebrate their 70th wedding anniversary this June 2019. 70 years, what a milestone. I wasn't sure if this piece would be finished and gifted with my original intentions as my father had a major health bump in the road a few days before the holidays. I sat and stitched this piece beside bedside in the hospital. My stitching time on this piece went from excitement of gifting gifting it to a time to reflect on my parents and their committed love of each other. Many stitching hours were spent reflecting on their love story, celebrating their love. I am blessed and thankful to have so many years of these two beautiful people in my heart forever and ever. It's like, you know, if that doesn't bring you to tears, I'm like, wow, what a tribute to her parents. So it's an alphabet sampler, and then the bottom says, In My Heart Forever and Ever. By With Thy Needle and Thread. 
Mouse's Lucky Day by Tiny Modernist. And the last batch. Um, Fenescule's Hall 1824 says where we were more precious each to e each to each than any thing. We were more pre precious each to each than anything. And what I love about this one is this lawn. That's so cool. And then um, for Spacious Skies by Heartstring Samplery. H is for Holly. My heartstring samplery. Harry Tyler's Lion. And um, I Will Stitch You in My Heart. And Bee Garden, B-E-E. -E. And it says, if you need me, I'm out in the bee garden. And let's see, that's it. So lots and lots of new things for you to think about. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry if it got a little bit long. And we will see you next, next time. Happy stitching, everybody.